as two opponents have actually gone the distance with Thurman, even though they've hit the canvas. Close the fight and maybe help Colazzo. I wouldn't do that for either fight. This is a bonus fight plan nugget here. Yeah, it really is. It's on the outside that could change the course of the game, or in this case, a world title fight. Something positive in his own mind. I don't know how much positive. She wasn't in Puerto Rico. She was in New York when that happened with his wife. You know, he still had some doubts, some bats in the belt, so to speak. Some doubts in that mind. This is why you can't outbox Thurman. Look how quick he is. Look at the hand speed, too. You see the athleticism and the angles as we come to the end. In other words, it's not just about the ability. It's about what's in the mind. It's to do this. To box and look for spots. But be careful. But I'll tell you, when he gets into gear, it is fun to watch. I haven't seen this fall. Oh, Colazzo came forward, cut the gap, and now an exchange here in that neutral corner. Colazzo, but he got counted. He did. But he has to, and he can set traps when he wants to. There's some swelling now under the left eye of Louis Colazzo. Which is the level of third attack. So. Combination. Thurman just touching that time as he took the angle. Two punch combination. Drop the left hand as he does it. That could be a very effective punch for a southpaw. See Teddy's scorecard and the fans at home. You, the viewer at home, three rounds. Colazzo pressing a bit with Thurman against the ropes, missing with that. Five different fights in his career. Come off the floor one time to win. End of four here in Tampa. The Southpaw comes out July 24th. We have a Southpaw former titleist in the ring right now as Keith Thurman is teeing off on Louis Colazzo. Good series of an offense. There's another well placed. Good ability to adjust. Swelling under the left eye. Not an issue right now in terms of the vision of Colazzo, but it's there. Both collisions have a rule. Make two mouthpieces. Why? In case you lose one, or well, maybe they should make a new move. Bring two belts. Palazzo with his best work. It looked like it hurt him in the body a little there. Went to the body. It's the right place to go. That stands, and he did. Look at Palazzo on hurt. the attack He's against Keith Thurman. Thurman's Come looking on. to wrap up. That's where you want to go if somebody's moving. Take the air out of the tire. Here comes the body shot right there, right around the liver. Bad place to get in. Guess what? It hurts. No belt. Hey, as long as we got a good fight in the ring, let's go. Raza reaching forward with that left hand. Thurman doesn't make him pay the price. Now on the inside, going to that belt line, and a short left hand on the inside from Colazzo as Thurman comes back, takes a step forward, fires off that left. Colazzo more the aggressor here of Louis Colazzo as this round comes to an end and a right hand from Keith Thurman as Colazzo fights on. Tell us Asimenos, the referee, has ruled that that was caused by an accidental clash. Oh, sharp right hand. They were doing their work, and I think they were. In that locker room, they could have told him, tonight's your night, baby. You know why? It was an upset. As you keep coming forward against an undefeated fighter in his hometown. Gonna have to do his job. Colazzo has been cut from head clashes. Been involved with head clashes. Oh, good sharp punch. Once in his career. And he's been shaken up several times in fights. You want to know why he survives? Well, besides heart, this. The ability to get out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. We got an interesting one here in Tampa. You want me to stop this? That's it up to you. I can't see it. You okay? Can you go on? And he said, I can't see. A fighter tells a doctor, I can't see. He might we as well say, stop the fight. By technical knockout and still welterweight champion, Keith Wattam Thurman. What an odd way to pull it off that way, Teddy.